Hey there, let's go over Maya's 2022 new feature, Sweet Mesh. This could be an awesome tool to help add to the environment of your scene. Here is a little robot having a bad day, and we're going to make it worse by adding an entanglement of wires all around the robot. I want to create some wires just hanging from the ceilings for this scene. I've already created a polygon plane on a grid layer. I'm going to use this plane to draw out the lines and then apply a sweep mesh to it. I create this grid in order to create a polygon plane and make it a live surface. This way you have a construction grid to move around your scene to precisely draw splines out in space wherever you need them. Clicking on the live button to draw things onto. Go to create curve tools. I'm going to use the Bezier curve tool and draw out your Bezier curve. Click and just hold down to manipulate the tangent. This could be a curved line just falling from the ceiling. When you're done creating your curve, press the return key. And this is going to be fast and easy. I no longer need the background grid, making it not live and hiding it as a layer. With that line selected, create sweep mesh. And you're done. Well, there's a few more things to go over. I'm going with the polygon profile. Number of sides will be the roundness. If you want more definition going down, scroll on down to interpolation, lower numbers, more rigid, higher numbers, more cross sections like this. At lower numbers, if you press the three key, you'll get your smoothness when rendered with Arnold. This object's going to Unity for a Unity scene about this robot. Covering some of the basics under distribution, if you click on distribute, you'll be able to create a wire bundle. Number of copies, distribution on a square or linear, radio is probably the right one. And then of course, if you're going to distribute a bunch of wires like this, falling on down from the ceiling, scroll on down and go to twist. And the twist, We'll wrap those wires around one another. You see banding like this, go back to interpolation and increase it. Taper will make the tubes get smaller when they reach the bottom. There's a better place to do tapering, and that would be under the taper curve. You can adjust this by just clicking a dot, making these non uniform tapers going throughout the bundle. Click and drag. If you don't like one of these points, just click on the corresponding box right beneath it below this line, and that deletes it. Here you have lots of fun of just adding some random taper to the profile of your line. You can make the tubes thicker by using scale instance. Also, under scale profile, that will make the whole bundle wider. And this looks too much like a tree. You want it to be smaller like this. Besides being able to set keys for these parameters, you could also set a texture. Using textures is a great way to animate the profiles of twist and rotate and scale. Since this was created based upon a curve, if you move this object to the side, you can reshape this sweep mesh by clicking on your curve, right clicking on it, by going to the control vertex level and selecting one of those points, moving that point around. And this gives you a flexible way to continue to shape your sweep mesh objects. Clicking on the original bundle, you can still edit it within the attribute editor, decrease the scale, giving a little space between this bundle wire falling from the ceiling. Remember in the end, you are creating a mesh. You can always hit edit delete by type history to break that connection to that line. Right click, go to the vertex level and select a vertex or a few vertices in that area. Make sure you have the B key selected for a fall off. You can increase that fall off area and then just lift up that line. Now it's no longer colliding. And you can reshape the line this way as well. Hope you enjoyed this brief introduction to Maya 2020 and Sweep Mesh.